Hello and welcome back. It is uh, uh, I don't know the real day. It's April twenty first in real life in the year twenty twenty of our Queen Elizabeth. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Your Majesty. Boo, 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 boo. Um, I, in real life, I've had to go to uh, real life work today. Uh, I work in a restaurant usually, um, and that's closed at the moment. But I had to go and sort some bits out, and yeah, it's really weird. Oh, very windy out and very like no one around and which is good um it was an essential journey i had to go and do some important stuff that i can't do because i don't know how but anyway enough of real life and thinking about being in isolation and other mad bonkers things we are on to my 15 year old diary and this is episode six and hay fever is still savaging the whole facial system my hair looks well, she's been blown she's been blown today i pfft, literally i just no control over it it's very windy very sunny very windy out apparently it's going to be scorching weather so some lovely weather to enjoy from the gardens um but a bit windy but then it's gonna get very chilly on the weekend this is the report as well as my diary uh so we are going on to half term wait now i've just I've just taken the bookmark out, and I... Wait, hang on. Oh, yeah. Now I realise what I've done. I realise what I've done. So we need a little recap, don't we, from... Which would have been the last diary entry that I read on episode 5 was Sunday the 16th of Feb, as we're just approaching the fresh start of a Monday of half-term week. The joys of February half-term week. Um, saw Lisa for a little while in the afternoon on this Sunday, and then saw her in the evening. She seemed stressed for some reason. Everyone was seeming stressed, it appeared. Uh... And I thought Andrew and Emma would end up going out together soon. Lovely little half term romance. Uh, I watched a film called My Life About a Man with Cancer and it really made me cry. Oh yeah, that was the song that we ended on last time. Uh, so we are starting Monday, February the 17th, half term week. Two masturbations this day. A joyous celebration of half term. Um, look, let me, I don't think I've shown you the little ends of the dashes for it. That's a cheeky masturbation code when I was younger. Even organised about that. Um anyway, I mean organisation didn't isn't something that's run consistently in my life. I'm really bad at it now. Started off well. Bad habits were then, I think. Anyway, mm, Monday, February seventeenth. Lisa and Lydia came round today. Lovely. Uh, went over Emma's for nearly all of the afternoon, had fun. That would have been without Lisa and Lydia. That we didn't all really mix that well together. Uh, so all afternoon around Emma's, had fun, got rid of nearly all of my spots on my face. Which is great, I can go back to school fresh-faced. It's cool. I've put fresh-faced... I can't see what I'm doing. Cool. Cool. Okay. Uh, painted the rest of my room. Painted? I get paint from. Oh, I had some madcap ideas. I'd probably use bloody poster paint or something. And I had an idea where I thought I'd refurb. I literally thought, I'm Lawrence the one in Berwyn. I'm just going to refurb this bedroom. I am not go mad. I still get urges to do that. When I was at uni, I thought, sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze. Hay fever sneeze. Um... I was at uni, I painted big, round, glow-in-the-dark paint I had, and, and my room was greeny blue, and I painted, like, huge, glow-in-the-dark, greeny circles on. Oh, my God. That was a trip. And I remember I got intoxicated once, um, and played Donkey Kong. Tripped out. I've left look at Donkey Kong the same way again. That's with my friend Carrie at the time. She was a drug dealer. So, well, well, no, she wasn't. <laughs> to drama. She wasn't. She just could get hold of them. She was a fantastic woman and still is. And she was just really lovely. But anyway, flip back to 97 from the university as I was taking you through. That's been funny. There were diaries that there are because... and. There aren't memories either. Some memories. Some are haunting. Took it, I can't touch tequila. And gin. Well, 
religion either. And I don't know, I don't know if this happens in this diary, but I've just noticed in December I'm writing in red felt tip pen. Quirky. Anyway, back to Monday, 17th of uh, February, beginning of our term week. I've seen Lydia and Lisa. I've been around Emma's all afternoon. I've got really, little, really got rid of all of my spots on my face. So I'm cool for school. Uh, painted my room. Uh, oh, I didn't see Andrew all day, I've noted. Dad starts work tomorrow. Cool. Uh, apart from that, a really boring day. Good night, diary, and sweet dreams. Three kisses to my diary. Don't know what some kind of self-absorbed shit I'm on at this moment in time and half term week. Uh, Tuesday, February the 18th. Today, Liddell and Sam. Sam, my little brother, and Liddell, his them at the time best friend. They're still friends. It's just older now. But they were like, yes, they were very good friends. They were always arguing and always having fun. And yeah. Uh, today, Liddell and Sam went round telling everyone, oh, but are they going to do something wicked here? Because Sam's a spiteful little bitch at times. Um, as a younger brother, I'm going to really twist the knife. Uh, today, Adele and Sam went round telling everyone that Andrew said we were all going down the wreck. Not the most outrageous of things to be spreading. The wreck was a recreational ground that had a little play park and playing field. I once slipped over the sprinkler and knocked myself out. It was painful and awkward. I also got really brave once, and I remember me and Andrew. We were both sort of chubby at the time. And uh, we both definitely had a little set of boy bubbers ourselves. And I remember, I think Andrew had lost a bit of weight and I was feeling a bit gel. And I just, he took his top off. Now, for chubby boys, we weren't going around doing that kind of stuff for fear of ridicule of our bubbers. Um, because there was, of course, always like the six packy studs of our childhood. Bitches. Bitches! And, yeah, the chubs, we struggled. So, it was a fairly safe environment, I remember, I think, at this point. A few friends going around, and Andrew whips the t-shirt off in a celebration. Skinny than he once was. Sorry, I blipped the recording. I've got a little pen for my Samsung then, and I flipped it, and for the first time ever, it's actually worked and did something that stopped recording during my expression of the liberation of Andrew being a bit slimmer and just whipping his top off, letting those teenage titters wibble, wibble, like little wibble sag pockets. But still, I thought, oh my God, Andrew thinks he's an Adonis now. I'm jealous. So, I did the unthinkable. Whipped off my top. Whipped it off in celebration. I was outrageously intoxicated with the liberation of just letting these boy bubbers poof, fling around, fling around, catch the breeze around them, that buoyant plump bubber skin just going, oh, I'm out, I'm out. My boy bubs have come out of the, the fabric closet they've been kept in. They haven't been seen other than by my detesting eyes. No one else has seen these bubbers. No one has seen these little little plump milkers bobbing around in the summer breeze. Oh my god, I instantly that liberation lasted five seconds probably and then I felt my inward self vomiting going Love, what are you doing? Who are you who are you, who what do you think you're doing this for? I mean, it's great, I felt liberated, that's the moral of that story, but at the time, I just, a chill went through me on this warm, bubber-exposing day, and I thought, the bubbers are out, and I just literally felt them tingle with fear, straight back on, straight back on, full of resentment for Andrew walking around with his boy bubs out, but anyway, yes, I mean, that's around this time frame, whether that pops up in the diary, or I'm remember it as in oh i've just noticed i've got laura oh, that's really handy laura i love interest at the moment for myself i've got her address and everything in the back of my diary maybe i'll write a little letter and her house number i've got her landline the mind's wearing as to what i'm going to do with that information um anyway back to tuesday <laughs> the dell and sam going around telling everyone that we're going up the rec the recreational ground 
because Andrew said this. Uh, it rained all day. I don't know if we did. Emma and Andrew are nearer to going out for each other. Inch they live like five houses away, and in my head now, I'm imagining them just inching out their houses. Like, <gasps> like those clocks where one comes out, ding dong something goes in, and then the maid comes out, ding dong something else. So imagine, like, in, like, teenage love entrapment, they're walking from each other's houses, boom, 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 to the, to the grand clock of half term. Well, let's see what happened. Uh, going, they're closer to getting out, going out with each other. Anna, Lisa's friend, is sleeping around Lisa's for two days. Sauce. Uh, Andrew went for lunch up Lisa's. Felt a bit, I felt a bit just, Andrew, Lisa, now, rational adult brain, Andrew, Lisa and Anna were all in the same class at school, so it would probably make sense that he would go and they'd all have something in common. Rah, 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 we're teenagers together in the same school. Rah, 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 rah. And I obviously wasn't at their school, as was Emma, so that's maybe why we weren't included. But here, that's got me hit up, because I've put here, Andrew went up for lunch. What? Andrew and Lisa's felt, oh, wait, Lisa's felt a bit jealous. Lisa, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> fractured sentencing of my, what was we've learned from a previous essay a little while back in the previous episode. I can't write for shit, apparently, with punctuation. Mrs. Firmster, the English teacher, was right to pick me up because 38-year-old me is struggling very much with 15-year-old me's handwriting and, um, lack of punctuation here sorry so andrew went up for lunch up lisa's and i felt a bit jealous about seething dad had his first day at work today i have got the tv in my room because dad's gone you know just before i've said he let me have the tv at one point when was that maybe it was the mentioned it didn't i yeah i can't remember what it's from um but he's obviously, he's at his new job, he's travelled away, he's living away from home, working. And I am relishing this by having a TV in the room, which is cool, I've put. Yeah, it's cool, because I've got TV, yeah. Uh, I've put goodnight, diary. P.S. Lisa fancies me again. I know wrangle those wild thoughts of what's happening because I'm currently in a situation where I'm dating Laura I. Wednesday, February the 19th. Today was quite a boring day. Emma knocked in the morning, but I didn't go out. No. Andrew, Lisa and Anna all did things together but didn't involve me and Emma. In the afternoon, I've decided to go out. I've gone over Emma's. <laughs> We're going to watch Ace Ventura when nature calls. I always thought I hadn't watched that film. I have. Um, oh, this is interesting. This is interesting. I didn't know this is when this happened. Uh, so I'm watching Nature Calls Ventura with Emma. Oh, wait, no, hang on. Oh, yeah, no, I didn't realise this when this point happened. So my dad's been married twice before my mum. Um, he's got two daughters from his first marriage and two daughters from his second marriage and then he's got two sons and a daughter from the marriage that he had with my mum and that's me, Laura and Sam so I've got four steps half-sisters I've called them stepsister in this you illiterate prick, James they are your half-sisters we have the same papa um, stepsister Susan she, her dad got a letter from his daughter my stepsister <coughs> half-sister uh, Susan she wants to come down and see us. I'm really excited. I've never met Susan before. Met Paula and Fiona. I don't know if I've met Fiona by this point, but I have met Paula, my eldest half-sister by this point. It came along in life. It's complicated. It's a bit Jeremy Kyle. Uh, if there were... A, what? A, I've never met Susan before. She wants to get a job and ask if there was any down here. I hope we get on. It will be so cool. Thursday, February the 20th, ever since yesterday when I pulled up the kitchen mat and scrubbed the floor. I've turned out, I've turned out helpful. I've been washing everything up. Mum had a touch of neuralgia. I can empathise. Pack on it as well, you see. Poor mum. So I've realised I've turned out quite helpful when I need to. It's cool that I need to comment on that. Um, 
15 year old me, arrogant pig. Uh, poor mum watched Independence Day, cool film, totally excellent. That's exactly what I've put. You geek. Uh, Emma knocked, but I didn't go out. She's always knocking for me, and I'm never going out at the moment. Hmm. Saw Andrew in the street, had a chat. Cash. Uh, I have got a sore throat, that's why it's cash. Not like the last one. Thank God I've put goodbye for now. I've got an outbreak of spots I've ended that diary section with. Sad. Friday, February 21st. Today was quite boring. Me and Sam swapped beds. Why not? Swap beds with your brother. Go crazy. Um, went over Emma's house for about half an hour this afternoon. Andrew, Lisa and Anna all went to East Grinstead. <gasps> Nat is Grinstead together. Andrew hardly ever hangs out with me and Emma. Since I found out Lisa smokes it makes me feel sick. Thinking about it. And Andrew pretends to smoke to look hard. Sad losers I've put in a continuous stream of capital letters. And then I've moved on to changing my room around. And God, I've only done this the other day. Uh, apart from that, nothing happened. Good night, dear diary. I've still got spots. Saturday, February 22nd. Today was horrible. I didn't see any of my friends. I did all my homework. I have a cold as well. As a cough. Bed was quite uncomfortable. Don't go swapping beds with your brother. Last night. The bed was quite uncomfortable. I got used to it. I hope I'm okay for school. Of course I do. <laughs> Who do I think is going to read this diary other than me that I'm putting that shit in? I hope I'm okay for school. I should be. I hope so anyway. I wish I could star in a West End play. Obviously that's my next thought. I daydream about it all the time. I have been feeling depressed all day. Found out that Andrew smokes for real! He smokes one a day. And Lisa smokes a few a day. They both make me feel sick. And I've also put in court in brackets, Emma will be disgusted. I bet I'm racing to tell her this news. I'm surprised I haven't gotten the landline. I wish she lived opposite me, but I'm surprised I haven't got the landline to hit her with this impactful news. And I'm trying to go through this diary entry because my steward's on his way home from work. Key working, my steward is a key worker, God love him. And I've got jacket potatoes in the oven. The oven's making a weird burning smell. I don't know why it always does this when I cook. Draw your, I'm the only one who cooks in the house. It's too much. She barely knows where the oven is. Um, anyway, that sounded bitter. It's not. I prefer to cook. I do prefer it. Um, Sunday, the 23rd of February. The house is full of dismay. Oh, no. Sam can't stop crying. Oh. Oh. This is triggering. I did not know there was a diary entry of this because for years, Sam had this, well, for a little while, Sam had this hamster and for years after, I called Fudge. Uh, for years after, I think I alluded to it in an early episode of Read My Diary when I mentioned this hamster because he must have got it for his birthday. Yeah. Because that's the 24th, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. And I, and I did a little trigger. This is a trigger warning because for years, Laura and I told Sam that his ham hamster just, I forgot how we told him he died. But we made it nicer than it was. What really happened was, uh, so the house is full of dismay. Sam can't stop crying. Fudge, his hamster has just died. He and Sam were playing. Fudge was on his truck. That bumped into the wall. And I've put, in my opinion, seems as though it triggered a brain hemorrhage. I feel so upset. He was only a baby. I feel so deeply sorry for Sam. I could never argue with Sam again. Oh, I do. This don't last for long. I could never argue with Sam again. Oh, bless him. I'm so concerned. I'm gonna, I vow to never argue with Sam again. Even now, I keep seeing fudge in my head. So small. Wasn't my hamster, but I loved him. I still feel so sad. He was so small. I wish he was alive. Poor Sam. Poor, poor Sam. Oh, I genuinely loved my brother a little bit there, didn't I? 
I do. Of course I do. We, we freaking will hate each other for most of the time. But there, obviously, like, oh, I've always grown up with animals. So Sam, so Laura. So, like, I remember that was a really sad time. That was the ugliest face I just pulled. Monday, February 24th. Back to school. I need to wrap this up in a minute because my students are going to walk through the door and interrupt me. Um, but I've, just, I've spun away. I need to know if I'm going to school or not. Uh, today was quite an uh, uneventful day. Sam and Laura didn't go to school. I did. Sam got a new hamster called Snow. Snow. Laura was crying a lot tonight. I tried calming her down. I spoke to her until I... Till 1am. Till 1am. Then Dad came down and I thought he would be angry, but he wasn't really in the end. We sorted things out about Laura going to school. It may have helped her a little. I'm getting up early to be with her tomorrow. Hopefully that will help. Good example of what loving brother I am over the last two pages. Uh, Tuesday the 25th of February. Uh, went swimming today with the school. Of course I can almost swim properly. Of, literally, I've put, of course, I can almost swim properly. Uh, left my swimming stuff at school. Mum phoned the school and they're keeping it in the office for me tomorrow. What, I, what did I think was going to happen? I mean, we cannot lose the swimming t-shirt bra that I need, obviously. That's probably what was going through my head. Uh, in the office for me tomorrow. Watched a drama called No Child of Mine. It was really upsetting. And Laura and Sam went back to school today. Saw Andrew, Lisa and Emma today. The whole gang. Wednesday, February 26th. Nothing much happened today. I felt quite depressed, really. I felt quite de depressed being, really, being with Laura. I cheer me up a little. I just feel under a cloud of depression. Lisa sent me a stupid letter just because she felt left out. And she tries to leave me out of everything. Especially when she's with Andrew. In brackets, I put cow. Um, <laughs> watched a film around... Blah, 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 watched a film around Emma's. Gizmo's going bald. Gizmo's my hamster. <gasps> oh no, we're approaching that time. Kel from Marsh. Uh, February 27th, Thursday. I didn't feel so depressed today as I did yesterday. Gave Laura I a love letter today. I hope she likes it. I love her so much more than Lisa. I decided I don't want to talk to her at the moment. She is a drama queen. Lisa, as much as I was a drama queen, hung out with Emma in this evening, saw Andrew. Not a lot really happened today. One of those boring days anyway. Spring soon, thank goodness. And that's where we're ending. Uh, ending? Um, maybe I'll learn to speak. That's where we're ending, so we've just... Oh, wait, hang on. That was Thursday, was it? Should I do Friday? I do Friday, I do Friday! Friday the 28th of February. Uh, I might just be going on the French trip and sharing a room with Jody. I hope Laura I, Laura I comes too. It will be fun. <coughs> Saw Andrew and Emma today. Got science homework. Got maths homework on Wednesday. Got geography homework on Thursday. Got to finish history project. A lot on academically. Nothing really happened today. It was a boring shit day. Really didn't really. It was a boring shit day really. Good night diary. Oh yeah. I'm writing I'm writing a book about an earthquake. I was writing a comedy script a little while back, wasn't I? Now I'm writing a book of an earthquake. Well, it's a tremor to end on. Boom 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 boom. <laughs> Uh, so we've ended on Friday the 28th of February. We'll be picking up on March the 1st, which is a Saturday. Oh, that's good. So we've nearly ended out on the month end. We're finally going to March. March forward. Hmm. So, goodbye, you little jacket potato fun bunnies. And I will see you for episode 7. <laughs>